Saturday the 21st. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brandy, and if you're returning, thanks for returning. Nice to see you again. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, we had my mother-in-law's birthday today, and we went and ate, and luckily she picked a place that was near Trader Joe's. So my husband and I ran to Trader Joe's, and if you've ever been to Trader Joe's, you know they have great flowers. So this dozen of roses was only $9. So I was super excited. I love having fresh flowers. Uh, I just put them on my breakfast table and it makes me happy when I see them in the morning. Okay, so let me get everything unbagged and we'll take a look. And of course, I'll give you all the points. I may or may not, I'll probably show you the calories, but I'm not gonna focus on that. I'm just gonna focus on the points. Um, and one, two, three, four, five huge bags. They're absolutely stuffed and it costs $230. I will say Trader Joe's, I feel like is a great value for your money. For the quality and what you get and convenience items, I think the value is absolutely there. Okay, let me get everything ready and I gotta scan it, make sure I got the right points for you. Okay, so I got everything unpacked, so let's get started and it is a lot. We'll start over here with the produce and everything, that's zero points for me. I got mini cucumbers. I love these for dips. I pretty much eat one every day. I like it with cottage cheese. I also like to add them to my salad to bulk up my salads. Um, I got the delicious chopped salad kit this week. Uh, I've only had this one, I think once, and I'm not sure if it was Trader Joe's brand or not. I kind of want to saute up some ground beef to add to this one. So it's more like a hamburger salad, but I didn't buy any ground beef, so. That's probably not gonna happen. I'll probably just eat my rotisserie chicken with it. I didn't hunt scan this one, but I'm pretty sure it's seven points for half the package. It's the only thing I didn't scan, I guess, because I was thinking it was in this area. This is one of my favorite uh, mixes for salads. I just find I really like the this, this mix, you know? So, and then to bulk up that salad, as always, I love adding shredded cabbage, and I much prefer this Trader Joe brand, bland. Oh, this Trader Joe blend than anything in my normal grocery store. I just really like it. And it stays fresh a long time. I got cremini mushrooms. I absolutely love cremini mushrooms. I get them every time I go there. These are great for adding into breakfast, but I may also add them to green beans later this week in a recipe. Not quite sure yet. Got a lot of bananas for the week. Got two Granny Smith apples. I've been craving apple nachos, and those are my favorite apples for apple nachos. Got my husband a bag of rainbow pears. He loves, he eats a pear a day. And then I got a bag of, I guess they're bell peppers. That's what I'm assuming they are. They're just calling them red pepper and they were in a different spot, but they seem nice and crunchy. And the whole four pack was only like $2. So that's awesome. And then the only other produce we got is these grape tomatoes. And I find, I love adding these in with a vegetable mix, my salad, even though I'm not a huge tomato person. And these also stay fresh a really long time. I'm talking like up to a month I've had them stay fresh. Okay, this is not mine, but we'll go ahead and go through it. My husband got him some beer. Let's just see if I can figure out what these are. Put that cookie down. It's an Imperial Sugar Cookie L with lactose and vanilla. I thought it was weird they called it out that it had lactose. Real L Commissioner Russian Imperial Scout. Ugh. Puppy Chow, <laughs> that one's cute, right? So I, that one's gonna be really sweet, I would think. Let's see, this one's a weird can. I don't know, that's a lot going on to me. Martin House, astronaut something, I don't know. It's Imperial Stout with coconut. Oh, then what do we got? Stark Yard Oatmeal Stout. So, oh wait, there's another one. Thought he didn't get six, okay. And then Revolver Brewing, <laughs> Brewing dim berries <laughs> i think that one was so cute it's like a blueberry wheat <laughs> i just like the name okay so now on to the frozen stuff and my husband was shopping with me this time so we got some stuff i normally don't get either because i think it's uh not healthy or it's expensive <laughs> uh so there's a few things new because he really wanted to try them and that is starting out with these steak and stout pies i think the box i can't remember it was more than i usually would spend for like a two item frozen meal but uh the big thing the reason why i never got them is because it's 800 calories and that's per pie so 
It scanned in a 28 point. So I don't know if I'll actually eat these. And if so, I'll make sure like I don't eat anything but zero point foods the rest of the day. So we'll have to give these a go. I don't know. They're interesting. And then organic, whoa, some organic rice. That's so convenient to keep in the freezer and microwave. And it's five points per cup. And there are four bags in there and each bag has two cups. So perfectly portioned. It comes out perfect every time. These are new for me to purchase, Mahi Mahi Burgers. I figured this would be a really convenient, easy weeknight meal or on the weekend. I don't know if I'd 100% make it into a burger necessarily, but like throw it on some greens and have it in a salad. Um, and they were two points each. Yeah, two points and there are um, four of them in here. Let's see, where are the nutritions? And so only 400, uh, 140 calories, so not bad. And then did grab my husband a few TV dinners because we're not going to another grocery store this week. So we got the Sriracha Shrimp Bowl and it scans in at eight points, then Cuban style 11. And he's had both of these and really, really likes them. But any TV dinner, I highly suggest you check. I find TV dinners are input incorrectly a lot of times. This is something we have had. And if you like pork belly, um, it's really delicious. Gr granted, it's not the lowest points because it is pork belly, but you can make it work. Uh, one serving is nine points. So total doable if you add, you know, a side salad and make a lower point vegetable or something like that, carb. Very doable dinner and easy dinner. Okay, and then I got some meat. I got the 99% lean ground turkey. I picked up two of those. Great, I love that. And then I got some ground chicken, which this is 92% uh, lean. It's the leanest Trader Joe's has. But honestly, I think I usually just count this as zero. I mean, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, a new thing we picked up is these little yellow tail fillets. Um, we just saw them and they were only $2.99 each. So we just bought them. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. I'm not a huge fish person. I did scan them and nothing came up. So I'm assuming since it's fish, it's zero, but you may want to check that. It's 240 calories for each. And how big is it? It's four ounces. Okay, continuing with frozen. This is something new I hadn't seen. These little sliced rice cakes. I absolutely love rice cakes. I have never seen them like this, not in a, um, you know, like a stir fry mix with sauce. So I was really excited because I like to cook Asian cuisine. So I can add these and it is seven points for the serving size of a three fourths a cup. But I don't even feel like you need to add that. Like I could definitely add less than that just as an additive to a stir fry. So excited to have those. I got Trader Brown hash browns. I typically don't like these type of hash browns, but for some reason I've been craving them and people have been talking about them. So I just want to give them a go. Figured I could chop them up and add them to uh, breakfast burritos like the Chick-fil-A style. And they're four points each. Grab some beef and broccoli. This is a higher point item from Trader Joe's, but I absolutely love it. And if I do um, cauliflower rice, then it works, you know, and I actually add more broccoli to really bulk it up. And it's 13 points per serving. This is another one I always get. And this is the gnocchi and it has like a tomato sauce already on it. This is wonderful with just grilled chicken breast and a side salad. And it is six points per cup and there's three servings in here and we just split the bag. It's like the perfect amount. Some frozen green beans. We like popping these in the air fryer with some Parmesan cheese and they, they just cook up really nice. We really like it. But without that, they're, you know, zero points. Got some frozen peas. I love keeping these on hand just to add to various recipes and I was out. These are like the best little ice creams ever. And they're five points each, but they're not very many calories. The nutrition is actually for three cones, which I only ever have one at a time, but the chocolate chip are really good. I mean, obviously I like the chocolate as well, but these ones surprise me with how good they are. Okay, done with frozen. Let's move on to the cheese. That's always a big section I get from Trader Joe. My husband loves Gouda, especially smoked Gouda, and I hate smoked Gouda. So he decided to have sandwiches this week, and we picked this up. He saw this and was like, ooh, I'll have sandwiches. And each slice is three points or 66 calories, so not bad on the calories. 
and then I got my favorite reduced fat Swiss cheese and these are two points a slice and they're thicker than most light cheeses and 50 calories. Then we got some shredded light Mexican. This is a go-to for mine and it's three points for a fourth of a cup. Oh man, I forgot to get the, um, I usually get the uh, mozzarella one. I totally forgot. I meant to grab it and I forgot. Darn it. And then I got a little thing of goat cheese. You get, a little of this goes a long way and I still have some prosciutto left. So I'm going to have that in one ounce is three or four points. I forgot to scan it. It depends on the flavor, but this one has honey. So it's either three or four points. And this is four ounce, five ounces. So it's five servings. Um, we did get some regular Gouda that is not smoked. I like regular. I just don't like smoked. And this is double cream. We haven't tried this, so we're excited to try that. And then I picked up my last thing of cheese. Man, we got a lot of cheese. I picked up some fat-free feta, which is actually zero points. And I love adding this to salads. It, I don't notice that it's fat-free. It's more the texture I like. And a new dip that we have not tried is this three-layer hummus dip. It has traditional cilantro jalapeno and spicy. Um, I had always thought it was like a Mexican dip and I didn't never check the calories. My husband pointed it out. So we're gonna do this and it scans in at two points for the serving. I think you can actually have up to three points for three tablespoons for two points. So check that out, great dip option. He picked out this lunch meat for him. I'll probably eat a sandwich out of it too. Applewood smoked ham for two points. Got some eggs. Their prices weren't actually too ridiculous. It was like $3.50, so that was good to see. Um, kettle corn popcorn. I absolutely love when they have this. It's like a sweet treat. And you can have two and a fourth cups for five points. I don't ever need that much. So it's because two and a fourth is like a lot. So I don't I don't have that much at one sitting. Or I try not to. Okay. We got some dried mango sli cantaloupe slices. These were new and there's no sugar added. So something fun to try. My husband loves dried fruit. And these are four points for the serving, which is a third of the package. And there's quite a bit in there. So not bad. Enchilada sauce. If you watched any of my recipes, you know I like to make, use this a lot when I'm stuffing bell peppers or zucchinis. It's only one point a serving or six points for an entire bottle. I just really like the flavor of that one. We got some cereal, which we've never gotten cereal from Trader Joe's. Um, my husband eats cereal every morning before work, so he went ahead and tried these so we didn't have to go to a regular grocery store. But this one's flakes and strawberries. And this is a great example of how Weight Watchers work. So the serving size here is six points for a serving for 140 calories. Whereas this almond butter puff cereal is 200 calories per serving and i thought it would be way higher in points since it's way more calories for but it's not it's also six points and the reason being is this one includes five grams added sugars whereas this one includes 10 grams of added sugars so i guess technically this one could be considered healthier for you right that one has fiber too they're equal on the fiber so I think it's just the added sugar, but either way, six points. It's the same as what Cheerios are, or at least the banana nut, banana almond ones, uh, the banana strawberry Cheerios I eat. So I'm excited to try both of those. I may give them a go. This is, I'm not even gonna say that, but it's like fancy cherries for cocktails and desserts and stuff. He makes a lot of, um, what do they call it, Byron? He makes a lot of old fashions and you got to have a fancy cherry. So he definitely wanted these, but I was in shock when I scanned them two cherries. It said is four points. So you may want to check that out. There's definitely a lower cherry point options. I'll have to try it, but I'll probably stick to my little Walmart cherries just to save on points. And then I got some protein bars. Bear bells are my absolute favorite and depending on the flavor, they're either five or six points. And they don't always necessarily scan incorrectly, so you need to check it. So I got caramel cashew and salty peanut butter. We went to a different Trader Joe's and they didn't have um, near the selection of my regular one. So that was kind of disappointing. This is my first time seeing these. I've seen a lot of other people, specifically like Nikki Gets Fit, use these a lot. The Thai wheat noodles. So I was excited when I saw them because we do love Asian food in this house, especially me. 
So I'll definitely make a stir fry and one package is eight points and there's three packages in here. So hopefully I can just bulk it up with vegetables and just use one package. So that would be awesome. But if not, it'll be two packages, you know, used at once. This is something else I hadn't seen, hearts of palm rice. We love the hearts of palm pasta, which I absolutely forgot to grab this time. But we had never seen this and I can't wait to try it. It's zero points for the whole box. Oh, I should add that to the beef and broccoli night and give it a go. Um, my husband was out of just ground coffee, so he chose this one. We've never had Trader Joe's coffee, so I'll have to see what he thinks when it's all done. Um, the last item for us is we got this sourdough bread. Like I said, he's going to be making sandwiches, so we splurged on a nice fancy bread. Uh, I probably will eat a sandwich, maybe two. Um, probably not many because every slice is three points, which... Uh, a lot of people have talked about this in bread like this. It's not fair. Like, this is way bigger than this. So, I may adjust the points depending if I'm eating back here or up here. You know what I'm saying? I may count these as two and these as three. <laughs> but, you do you. And then the last thing that is not for us. And this little guy, he got groomed today. But, he has been waiting. And, of course, he knows when I come with Trader Joe's, he gets something. So... He got this little bag of treats, and since he's on a diet, they're only three calories per treat. Right, Rio? Say, look how pretty I looked. I got hair cut this morning. Didn't you get hair cut? Sit down. Don't make mama look bad. Sit down. Really? Rio? Why did I have to say his name all like that? Ash, will you sit? Be pretty. Sit down. Yeah, there's Asher sitting pretty and Leo sitting pretty. They're about to get their shots. They get serum injections and with peanut butter, so they enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so that's all I got. But I would love to hear if you all shop at Trader Joe's, what are some of your favorite things? I absolutely love Trader Joe's. I'm a huge fan. And I'm always looking for new stuff. So anything you all like that's low points, or even if it's not that low points and you can just have it in moderation, let me know. I would love to know. If you see, I know they have tons of snacks and cookies. I'm really good at avoiding all that. I'm just not really huge into that stuff. And I feel like if I buy a large box of it, like this, they had these like soft snickerdoodle cookies that look good. But I just don't want to commit to a whole box, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know. I almost wish they had like a multi-pack so you could try a lot of that little stuff. But I do pretty good about avoiding that stuff. Okay, bye. Rio says, bye friends. You say bye, friends. Say bye.